The Proxon family of micro tools are the perfect addition for any small shop or a makerspace. From the handheld tools, the low voltage tools, to the bench tools, you can do just about anything with the Proxon tools. One of my favorites is the bandsaw. It has a really small footprint, so it doesn't take up a lot of space on my bench, and yet it's incredibly flexible. First off, it doesn't make a huge mess because in the rear there's a port that I can connect to my vacuum so that as I'm sawing, it's actually extracting all the dust. There's a variety of blades that you can get for the bandsaw as well. So now a basic blade is gonna cut wood and acrylic. But from there, they have special blades like a diamond tip blade that's great for ceramic, stone, reinforced uh, plastic. They have some very nice little scroll saw blade. You can see how tiny that blade is. That's for really tight radius curves. And one of the ones I'm really excited about is this new blade that actually doesn't have any teeth. It's actually called a band knife. And it's meant for leather, foam, rubber, even chipboard. The blades are about this size and they're very easy to change. You can almost see how it would look inside the machine. You remove this cover and you're gonna put the blade over two wheels in there. And with some saws, you actually have to move those wheels to get different speeds. But with Proxon, there's a little dial right here that lets me change the speed based on the material. And if you're unsure what the right speed is for you, there's a chart and it'll tell you exactly what speed range you should try for any given material. To make these little owls, I was cutting scraps of wood, non-ferrous metal, and acrylic. And I did the same thing to make the little crate. So with a very small footprint, I have a lot of power in my shop to do a variety of things from very detailed jewelry work to larger, almost, construction projects. Proxon Micro Tools are the perfect addition to my shop, and I know you'll enjoy using them too.